a company produces different types of energy drinks, the filling machines are adjusted to pour 500 ml of energy drinks into each plastic bottle. Nonetheless, the actual amount of energy drink poured into each bottle is not exactly 500 ml. It varies from bottle to bottle. It has been observed that the amount of energy drink in a bottle is normally distributed with a mean of 500 ml and a standard deviation or of 4.75 ml. What percentage of the energy drink bottle contains 505 to 513 ml? So, just like the, the two previous examples, our given values are in raw um, scores. So, we have to rewrite it in or we have to rewrite those raw scores into C scores. So, next I, our mean is 500, it's already stated, and the standard deviation is 4.75. So, we have to get the raw score, equi I, the C score equivalent to the raw score 505 and 513. So, for 505, we will have Z sub 1 is equal to raw score 505 minus 500 na mean all over uh, 4.75 since this is our standard deviation so using the calculator 505 oh, sorry 505 minus 500 all over 4.75 the answer is 1.05 again we have to use two decimal places only and then for the second c score naman which is 513 minus 500 all over 4.75 the raw score i the c score for this one naman is um, 513 minus 500 all over 4.75. The answer is 2.74. 2.74. So, ngayon po, what we're going to do is, after getting the C scores equivalent to those raw scores, we have to draw the normal curve. And then plot the mean. Since the mean is equal to 500, this is 500. And then, this next is we plot the C scores. The first C score is 1.05. So let's say this is 1.05. And the equivalent raw score for this is 505. And then, we also have 2.74. Since this is also positive, and 2.74 is beyond 1.05. Let's say we place it here. 2.74. And the raw score equivalent for this one is 513. Next, after plotting, we identify the shaded region. For us to identify the shaded region, we go back to the problem. The question is, what percentage of the energy drink bottle bottles contains 500 to 513 ml. So, from the phrase 505 to 513 ml, parang it signifies na um, we have to get the percentage between 505 and 513. So, the shaded region for that is the region between 505 and 513. And that region is this one. Next, after getting the shaded region, we now go back to your um, table to get the area from the mean up to the given C-score. So, for the first C-score, 1.05, 0 to 1.05. Ano kaya yung area niya? Again, yung area na nire-reflect ng table natin is always from 0 up to the given C-score. So, you have to look at the um, 1.0 for the first column and 0 0.05 for the um, first row. So, 1.0 tapos 0 0.05 and that is 0 0.3531. 0 0.3531. 
31. So, 0. Ano yun? Sabi? 1, 1.0 tapos 0 0.05, you get the intersection and that is 30.3531. Next naman, yung next na C-score natin, which is yung 2.74. So, from 0 up to 2.74. Again, yung sa table ay from 0 to 2.74. So, for us to get the area for zero from 0 to 2.74, we have to look at the first column na 2.7 tapos 0 0.04 sa first row. Again, 2.7 sa first column tapos 0 0.04 sa first row. Then, you get the intersection. So, 2.7 tapos 0 0.04. So, yun ay 49, 0 0.4969. Okay po. Next. Oh, knowing those values, paano kaya natin makukuha yung shaded region? Or how are we going to obtain the area for the shaded region given these two values? So, if you're thinking that we have to subtract those two values, then you are correct po. We have to subtract 0 0.4969 and 0 0.3531 for us to get this shaded region. Ma'am, may formula po ba yan? Wala pong formula yan. You have to analyze what, you're going to, what are you going to do with the given values or if you should add the given values ba or you should subtract or... You should subtract the given area ba by 0 0.5 or you add it by 0 0.5. It depends upon the given shaded region and the given values. So, you really have to analyze. So, ito ay 0.4969 minus 0.3531. The answer po is 0 0.1438. Or in percentage, this is 14.38%. So, meaning to say, in conclusion po, the percentage of the energy drink bottles that contains 505 to 513 ml is 14.38%.